1976 Mini Leyland. We've gone with a Mr. Bean theme. It seems to um, get a fair bit of attention when it's on the road. It was a wreck. The windows were pushed in, it was wet inside. It had a partner that was older again, I think, and it was completely rotten. So I only took the wheels and the motor out of it and the rest went to the tip. It took me 11 months to pull it apart, strip it completely, cut out all the rust, weld in new panels. Yeah, every nut and bolt was pulled apart. I just did it in 11 months. No, I really enjoyed that. I could see myself driving it even before I'd um, finished it, so I knew it was going to get done. The fact that I suppose I got the Mr Bean plates, I was going to have it orange, but someone else decided on the green. She likes green. But I've had a few experiences where I could be driving down the road in Darwin and um, I've been handed a can of Jim Bean actually <laughs> through the window while we're driving. <laughs> so, that was fairly good. Every time it's parked somewhere, you'll have the parents coming up with the little kids and, can we have a photo, please? <laughs> yeah, the colour. <laughs> the colour started the Mr Bean. Everybody started calling it Mr Bean as we were making it with the um, colour. The interiors virtually, or well, the seats upholstery and that are original. The door cards are recovered and the roof lining, I put it in upside down while it was on the rotisserie, so gravity helped there. But most of the interior of the um, sun visors are original. So The dash is original, except yeah. for the radio. Yeah, I've tried to keep it. I went to the ex uh, expense of trying to buy an old radio and all you could get is horse racing on it. The number plates. And the teddies, I suppose. There's a whopping great air horn under the uh, <laughs> mud guard that won't fit inside. And we've Just also to... put the sticker on the back with Mr Bean. We were in England and we found an original Mr Bean little teddy, so we brought that back as well, so it's pretty special. 